I'm so excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like you and me. It is a platform where you can explore new passions and skills in topics like illustration, photography, video editing, design, and even health and wellness. If you follow me on my Instagram, you may have noticed that I've been experimenting with lots of different color palettes lately. This is all because I've been watching this class called Illustrating and procreate drawing a shareable time lapse by Vashti Harrison and in this video I learned to create more lifelike sketches kind of like in a children's book illustration and I learned some tips and tricks about color combinations that I have never learned before Skillshare's creative community has really helped me feel better within the limits of the pandemic and everything that's going on in the world by watching other creators it has really inspired me to practice and practice and to continue growing as an artist even more so today you can join Skillshare at less than $10 a month for an annual subscription and the first 1,000 people to click on the link in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium today. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't slip, don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. Happy Monday, friends. I realized that I didn't show you my painting materials from yesterday, so I just wanted to give you a closer look. So for the paints, I used the Himi Gouache Jelly Cup set. I got this from Amazon and it comes in 18 colors. I'm gonna link it down below. So this is what it looks like. Three hundred and forty-six minutes later. So this is what it looks like. These paints are water-activated gouache, so even if they dry up, I can just spray some water on them and they will start working like a watercolor or a gouache again, depending on how much water you use. The good thing about this paint set is it comes with this little palette that you can mix your paint on. But because the palette is like a green turquoise color, sometimes you don't really know what the real colors are. Which is why I got this paint mixing tray. Let me show you. This is a porcelain paint mixing tray slash palette and it comes in this beautiful flower shape so I really liked it. I saw this on Amazon and I just grabbed it because I really liked the way it looked. I usually use bigger brushes with watercolor because I go in with a pen to um, add in the details but with gouache I've been loving these um, more fine tip brushes because it makes it easier to add in the details.
This is like the first time that I tried to stick around and it actually turned out perfect. Okay, um, I'll, I'll let you know and I'll also send you the email about the um, classes and ages and styles that I feel comfortable doing, yeah. Okay. Thank you, it was nice meeting you. Bye. I feel awkward on phone calls. This is why I like my studio work, because I'm alone and I don't have to talk to anyone except the camera and I don't have to worry about feeling awkward or anything. We have a new tool over here as you can see. This is called a gooseneck phone holder and I saw someone on TikTok use it so I decided to buy it. It's from Amazon and it's supposed to hold your phone upright like this so that you can get a bird's eye view of whatever you're doing on your table and i just thought this would be really nice for a drawing with me or a packing with me type of video also my camera has been really unreliable lately so i've been using my phone to film more often i haven't tried this out yet but i think i'm gonna try filming a drawing with me video i might start with traditional art because with the ipad you can see that the color is not very accurate. I think it's because of the light on the screen. I saw Cheyenne Barton say that she had this problem too and she resolved it by changing the lens of the camera. Unfortunately, my camera is not high-tech enough to change the lens or anything, so we'll start with traditional art and see where it goes from there. Is there something after there's nothing to say?
I got some new stuff in the mail today so first I have a new custom stamp from No Issue the old one was a little small so this one I ordered twice the size and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my sketchbook ah! <laughs> that's so cute Oh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Okay, okay, second package. These are my outsource stickers from Sticker Meal. I wanted to try both Sticker App and Sticker Meal to compare which one is better. So far for pricing, Sticker Meal is definitely more pricey, but I just wanted to test the quality and see for myself which one is better. So, let's open our package. This is what the sticker looks like up close and to be honest, I'm slightly disappointed. Um, the paper is definitely thicker, like you can tell it's waterproof, it's like really high quality vinyl. But I don't know, I just the colors aren't what I wanted it to be and also it looks a little blurry compared to the one that I printed here at home. Like you can clearly see the difference between the two. I think I'm gonna reprint this and fix the offset a little so that I can sell them as A grades but this one with the weird offset and this one with the weird hues are probably gonna be B grades. So this is what the sticker looks like. It's really really simple but I like how you can still see the textures and the color isn't too faded but what I don't like is this um, blunt cut right here. Like it's a little weird I guess. I'm gonna go back to the offset and make it more rounded or I might even just cut off this last line and make it into like a curve instead. We'll see. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You folks ready to order? Or yes. do you want a minute? Yeah, yeah. Good to go. What can I get you? Um, can I get the two large eggs scrambled with sure. bacon and whole wheat fries? Whole wheat toast. Whole wheat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have whole wheat fries. <laughs> <laughs> and you said scrambled? Yes, please. You got it. Hi friends, it's been a while since I posted a vlog so I just wanted to give you a little update on my situation and what's going on. So I mentioned in my last video that I've been feeling a lot of stress and anxiety about not finding a job here in the United States and I was given 90 days to look for a job starting from October 1st so those 90 days would end around December 30th and I was really afraid that by the end of December I would have to be sent back to my country in Thailand and I won't be able to come back here. So around two weeks ago, I wrote an email to all my old classmates, my professors, and even the supervisors that I used to work with asking if it would be possible for me to do some sort of unpaid internship or unpaid volunteer job just to like buy more time and stay in the United States. And to my surprise, a lot of them weren't so helpful. Luckily, I had one teacher who was my thesis advisor and she was able to come up with a creative solution that would help my case. So she created a volunteer position in the department that I graduated from, the Department of Creative Arts Therapy. And so what I would have to do is to work three to five hours a week for her by coming up with some sort of um, international student handbook or anything to help other international students who come into the program after me so that they won't have to go through all the same troubles that I went through. So as of right now, I will no longer be deported at the end of December and that's just like a big weight off my shoulders. I feel so much more relaxed, so much more relieved. I'm sleeping better now. I'm making more art because I'm not as stressed out anymore. I'm just so thankful for that one teacher who was kind enough to help me. And I just wanted to say a proper thank you to all of you. I'm so, so grateful for all the support that you've given. Growing up, I was taught to believe that there's no space for negative thoughts and feelings. And by expressing your negative feelings, it will make other people not want to be around you and so it was a really big step for me to be able to just talk so openly about this with you guys and seeing like all the positive responses that you've given me like some people even messaged me saying how much they appreciated my openness and how I'm so willing to talk about these like not so good thoughts and feelings and it's just so nice to have this little community on YouTube where I feel safe enough to express anything I'm thinking whether it's good or bad. I've been thinking a lot about future goals for my shop and YouTube and as of right now I have two main goals that I want to achieve in 2021. Maybe some of you don't know this but Mental Health Awareness Month is May and May also happens to be my birth month so I wanted to make a sticker that promotes mental health awareness and it is my hope that around 20 to 25 of the proceeds I would be able to donate to a mental health cause that means a lot to me and is very personal to me. So right now my only sources of income are YouTube and my sticker shop so I'm just not in a place where I can afford to donate to these organizations yet so it is my hope that by May of 2021 I would be able to donate a part of my proceeds to these causes because that just means so much to me and yeah that's my first goal the second goal is to think about starting a patreon maybe like I'm not feeling very confident about it yet and I don't know if anyone's going to subscribe or sign up for my patreon but I just think it would be a really exciting thing to try out alongside my shops. I would have my shop where I would sell more permanent items like my Moquette and Kai Cat stickers, my S'more Cat stickers, things that I have planned to have permanently on my shop. And I can have like a big shop update maybe once every three months offering different types of merch. I've been thinking about making shirts and tote bags and post-it notes. I've just been doing a lot of research on where to outsource all these things because I think it would be so exciting to add that to my shop. And with Patreon just all the top of my head right now I'm planning to have um, discord benefits digital downloads and two stickers and one art print mailed out to patrons every month and yeah that's just my plan so far for the next year I feel like there's a lot of exciting things coming up I see a lot of creators out there who are much much more successful with their art shop and it's just so inspiring for me to see because it reminds me that good things take a long time to build like some of these creators have been running a shop for years before they could get to that point of success and for me I constantly remind myself that this is 
is just my third month of running a shop on my own and I'm still getting used to the business and administrative side of running a sticker shop on your own but so far everything has just been such a learning experience and it's so rewarding especially when I see you guys post like a picture of my stickers on your Instagram and you tag me like that makes me so happy that really really makes my day it's just so exciting to see that these little stickers that i made with my own hands kind of made their way to your houses like i kind of feel like they're all my babies and you adopted them and yeah that doesn't really make sense now that my immigration status is a little more stable i feel like i'm ready to improve myself as a content creator and make even better content for all of you guys so thank you so much for all the kind and encouraging words you left under my last video i have a big hug for all of you yeah enjoy the rest of the video I'm sleeping late and if i'm speaking honestly my dreams are the only place I thought of you can't bother me And when I'm wide awake It takes all of my energy To tell our friends we've never been this happy Waiting for the glass house to calm down Waiting to hear that crashing sound Waiting for the right words to tell you how I don't wanna be false heart Pretend we're picture perfect when we're breaking beneath the surface. Mm. I don't wanna be false, I make love like we deserve it to cover up what's hurting. Hey. I don't wanna be false, I.
Hi friends, I spent the past two to three days restocking my shop for the update. So today I thought I'd show you everything that I'm working on and what will be available on this update and kind of talk about my products a little bit more because I feel like I have more of a story behind them this time. So let's go. So first I have these prints from my last update. I have the I Love You print and this Mosa print and they've been selling much better than I expected. Like this is all I have left of the I Love You print. I think it's around 15 or 20 and the Mosa print I have a little bit more because I did order more in the first place. But yeah, these two are still available and I would really love for you to take these home with you so please check them out. Smaller cats were supposed to be a fall thing but I think I'm gonna make it a permanent item on my shop just because personally this is one of my favorite stickers on my shop so i need to restock these because i think i only have like 10 or so left i still have the strawberry milk stickers all my milk cat and kai cat stickers and for this update i also have a bunch of oopsie bags so in each bag there are four random stickers and they're all b grades which means that they were either miscut or misprint and usually i just hold on to them but people have been telling me that they would be willing to buy them so i'm really thankful for that and i decided to make these oopsie grab bags a lot of these stickers aren't that badly miscut some of these are stickers that I printed out in the wrong size. Sometimes it's um, my tea cats that are too big, the mole cat and kai cat stickers that are too small but the cut lines are perfectly fine. So they're actually pretty high quality B grades and I only managed to pack 30 of these so if you're interested please check it out on my shop. So these are the new stickers for my shop update. I mentioned on Instagram that I wasn't going for a holiday theme because I kind of missed the timeline for that. Next year I promise I'll do better. So these are kind of my interpretation of mental health, mental wellness stickers. The first one here is a cat reading a book that says how to be happy. I think I relate to this one quite a lot because sometimes I need this book in my life. I have days where I forget to feel even like the smallest happiness so a 101 study class on how to be happy would be really helpful for me and hopefully some other people out there. Um, this one was inspired by a conversation I had with my friend Tan who lives in Thailand. So we were talking about how both of us are like sad and broke artists. <laughs> I just thought that was a really relatable concept and I wanted to make it into a sticker. The reason this cat has a broken bucket on their head is because in Thai when someone is broke, we say that their bucket has broken. Broke. <laughs> so broken bucket means you don't have any money and I wrote sad and broke at the bottom while highlighting the okay and I know that's really cliche but it's something that I needed to hear this year especially with how difficult it is to find a job so yeah thought this would be a good way to end 2020 these stickers, I intentionally made them more color coordinated. I've always thought of the color blue as related to being sad. And for this one, I titled it Cloudy Days Are Okay. So even though there are days when you feel like it's raining down on you and there are gray clouds in your head and you can't really understand what's going on or think straight, it's still gonna be okay. The gray clouds are gonna pass and you won't feel blue forever. And last but not least, we have these two that will be sold as a set. They're called Broken Vases Still Bloom. So I was watching a series called The Man in the High Castle and a lot of the series kind of circles around Japanese culture. And in one of the scenes, the main character was fixing a broken cup by sticking the broken pieces together and then he paints the cracks gold and I've heard of that concept before but I was really inspired by how broken things can still look beautiful so I decided to draw these two guys with like broken cracks on them but beautiful flowers are still blooming from them and I think that's a good reminder for the end of 2020 that like all of us have been through a lot this year and it's been a really anxiety provoking year but still we can still create beautiful things out of it also with every purchase on my shop this month i will be including this freebie that says everything will be okay i think it's very cute and simple but it kind of wraps up the whole theme that i'm going for the end of the year so by the time this vlog goes live my shop would have been opened already but if you're interested in taking a closer look at these items feel free to check out madebymalin.bigcartel.com and yeah i look forward to packing all of these for all of you guys i finished my self-care sticker set and this is what they look like i like how they turned out a lot i've been experimenting more with using line art when i print my own sticker sheets and i think it just helps everything pop out a little bit more 
I really like the style that I have going on here and the color palette that I tried. It's very different from everything else that I made so far. The sticker sheet is one of my new favorites on the shop, so I think I'm going to um, stick to this style and maybe make more sticker sheets that are around this size. So today I just have to cut a whole bunch of these, take some product photos, maybe post a preview on my Instagram stories, and tomorrow, December 14th at 12 p.m. EST, my shop will be reopened. So if you're interested in everything that's going on here, definitely go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!